Hi friends, my name is Rohan Bharachandra. Welcome to this video on Once upon a time, these two people were very rich. Very very interesting story and maybe many things to learn for all of us. We usually hear about successful businessmen who grew their companies massively and are now one of the richest men in the country and world. However, there are also many stories of Karolpathis and billionaires who are today almost paupers. In this video, we will briefly discuss about two famous business owners whose net worth has significantly fallen in the last few years. If this video is watched by a large number of people, then we will consider making videos about why certain businesses or businessmen failed. Business owner number one, Anil Ambani. As you know, he is the second son of Dhirupa Ambani and the younger brother of Mukesh Ambani. In 2008, Anil Ambani was the sixth richest person in the world with a net worth of $42 billion or approximately as on today, 3.3 lakh crores. In fact, at one point, Anil Ambani was richer than Mukesh Ambani also. In fact, in 2012, his net worth was $7 billion, 56,000 crores and by 2020, it was virtually zero after his personal guarantees for loans taken for businesses had to be repaid. As per 2018, Anil Ambani group of companies had a total debt of Rs 1.72 lakh crores. Although the total debt of the companies has reduced since then, it is still around Rs 1 lakh crores and most of the shares of his companies have become penny stocks. In the process of repaying its debts, significant portion of the company and personal assets have been sold. In 2019, there was a threat of Anil Ambani going to jail in one of the cases where he needed to repay Rs 453 crores in a very short period of time to a foreign company. But Mukesh Ambani paid the above amount on behalf of Anil Ambani and saved him from the jail term and further legal problems. As of now, it is said that Anil Ambani has almost zero net worth since significant amount of loans has to be still repaid to banks and financial institutions. When the Reliance Group split after the demise of Dhirubhai Ambani in early 2000s, both Mukesh and Anil Ambani got assets which were almost equal in value. However, Mukesh Ambani has thrived and Anil Ambani has unfortunately failed and reached a very very low level in terms of his net worth. I have made a summary of some of the major Anil Ambani group of companies which are listed in the stock markets. These were all very very big companies with huge market capitalization and very very good performance in the past years and later in the last 10 years or so doing very very badly because of the decline of the businesses. Reliance Capital, market cap only 409 crores today, 5 year returns minus 53% per annum, it's not total, it is per annum and 10 year returns minus 25% per annum. Reliance Power, 7038 crores. Once upon a time, it was the biggest IPO in Indian history in 2008. 5 year returns minus 14% per annum. 10 year returns minus 14% per annum. Reliance Communications, one of the biggest telecom companies once upon a time. Today, a very, very small company, hardly having any operations. 708 crores was the market cap today. And 5 year returns 34% per annum minus. And 10 year returns minus 25% per annum. Reliance Infrastructure, 4,573 is a market cap as on today. 5 year returns, minus 21% per annum. 10 years returns, minus 10% per annum. Fifth company, Reliance Naval, 285 crores is a market cap. 5 year returns, minus 42% per annum. And 10 year returns, minus 26% per annum. So this is a very sad story of Anil Lambani going from riches to rags in the sense very very rich to being a very very ordinary person after his businesses collapsed. Now the second person on our list is Vijay Malia. He also needs no introduction. He is the son of Vital Malia and was the chairman of United Breweries Company and Kingfisher Airlines. In 2008 at the peak of his fortunes he was worth 1.2 billion dollars around 9600 crores as on today. He had a very flamboyant lifestyle and he was always covered by the media. I am sure all of us are aware how he was visible all over in the TV and newspaper. He even acquired Deccan Airways from Captain Gopinath and renamed it Kingfisher Red and ran it as a low cost airline of Kingfisher. At one point, his company owned a cricket team which was RCB and also a F1 car racing team. However, due to many business mistakes and mismanagement, his company started declining gradually. The airline's business was making huge losses. 
In fact, Kingfisher Airlines had never made a profit in its business. In order to run and expand the business, Kingfisher Airlines took huge amounts of loans. Around Rs 9,000 crores was taken as loans from 17 different banks. In spite of this, the company struggled and it stopped paying salaries of employees and finally ran out of money to run the business. The lenders repossessed or took back the aircrafts given to Kingfisher Airlines and they did not have any aircrafts to run anymore. Vijay Malya was forced to sell his stake in United Breweries as well to repay some of the loans. Finally, in 2016, he escaped to United Kingdom since he was expected to be arrested for his crimes. There are also allegations that large amounts of money which was taken as loans by Vijay Malya's companies were illegally redirected to foreign countries. This is the money which is being used by him for his expenses in the UK. This is what reports are saying. Although there is no complete information, Vijay Malya is supposed to have good amount of wealth abroad which the Indian authorities are not fully aware of. Vijay Malya continues to stay in UK while a number of cases are running against him in India and UK. He still has a good amount of money to live a good lifestyle. However, it is nothing compared to the wealth he once had during the peak of his business life. The Indian government is continuing its efforts to bring him back to India so that he can be punished for his various offences. So this was a very brief story of two very very famous and big businessmen who over the years have failed and become almost paupers today. If this video has large number of views, then we will consider making more videos on such topics which will give us insights about their lives and what mistakes they made, what were the things they did right so that we can also learn from them. Remember, it is not only important to learn from successful people, it is also important to learn from people who have failed so that we don't make the same mistakes like they did. In fact, we had shortlisted three more business people on whom we wanted to make videos but since the video will be very long, we have covered only two people in this particular video. If you want us to cover the other three people as well and understand how their life has progressed and what has happened to them now, then type three more in the comment section so that we know that you are interested in watching such videos. If you like this video, please click the like button and share this video with all your friends. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye and all the best.